Hi, I'm Rex Proctor. This is another screencast in our Sports Tech GB series of screencasts. Sports Tech GB is the product for the iPad. So, what we're going to cover off in this screencast is how to create a project, add some video to it, use the simple playback controls, get out of the project, and then delete the project or rename the project. It's all very simple stuff, but it's this basic things that you need to know how to use if you want to successfully use this product. When you first launch, you'll notice you probably don't have any projects. So let's go ahead and create a new project. I'm going to click the plus button, and then I'm going to name my project. So we'll call this my first project. And then we're going to select a movie. Now if you watched any previous screencast about this product, you probably have seen how we got um, movies from iPhoto synchronizing via iTunes into your photos library. So look that up if you don't know how we did this. Um, the movie library looks at local files that are on um, in the application storage or it will look in your photos library. So you may use camera to record some video and then that will appear here and you can use that in your project. So here I'm going to select the video that I used earlier or that I imported earlier and you'll see it opens up. Now I'm in landscape mode. It's a little better for doing these screencasts and often I think you'll end up watching the video like this once you see some of our killer thumb controls. So you hit the play button to start playing and you hit that area again to pause. Now you can double tap the movie to play anywhere in the movie and you can single tap to pause. Now you're probably noticing um, on the left and right hand side of the movie here are these controls that are appearing. These are your thumb controls. So the right side is fast forward and the left side is rewind. Pretty simple to use so you can really hold this with two hands and be cruising through the video at any speed you want. Now one very clever little feature you need to be made aware of is there's a locking. If you gesture with your thumb inwards of the video to the center of the video it will lock the speed control and that can be unlocked by simply pressing play or hitting um, the screen to pause it again and then that speed will return back to one times normal play. You can loop the video by clicking on the looping here. When it's blue, it's activated. You can drag the playhead to seek or put yourself in any time in the video. And you have a nice um, counter here, which can be moved to wherever you want using your finger. The counter has several options. You have none, which will display no counter, time elapsed, and time remaining. So those are your basic video controls that we're going to cover off in this screencast. Now you may go, well, how do I get back to my projects? If you select up at the top, if you tap your finger up at the top edge, right below the clock, the projects menu will pop down and you can return to projects. Now a couple things here about projects. If you hit the edit button, you can select the project and you can rename it. So if I wanted to call this my project two, done. And now I've renamed the project. You can also delete from here too. But I'll show you the other way to delete, which is just a simple swipe in the row where the project is located and you can hit delete. So that's the end of this screencast. Um, more to come later, but those are some of the basic operations. Create a project, uh, move around in the video and so on. All right, if you have any questions, email support at sportstech.com. Thank you very much for listening.